Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm getting my uh, sleepy eyes, you know, it's almost midnight and you know how your eyes get dry and you get tired. I'm getting my sleepy eyes on, might be the hat too. Um, okay, so thanks for being here. I have a Bolo category video for you guys. This one is on boxes, instructions, manuals, things like that. So things that often get thrown away but that collectors want and will pay up for if you have what they need. Are you ready? <gasps> Thanks for being here. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That helps bump me in the algorithm. And I haven't reminded you guys of that for a while at the beginning of the video. So um, let's get started. Let's learn about some bolos. Um, if you're new to the channel, I share items to be on the lookout for, items you can typically buy low and sell high. This video, some of these things might surprise you. All right, the first item. 20 instruction book, yeah, booklet manuals only. Manuals only, guys. Super Nintendo NSES original. These 20 instruction manuals sold for $113.60 with 11 bids. And I have a video that I did where I sold boxes with the manuals inside for huge money. Go check out my video. You will be shocked. They were um, Pokemon boxes. And I thought I was buying the games and I got home and I was a little disappointed. But I ended up making a ton of money on that lot. Um, I will try to remember to link it, but if not, just go to my videos and to the search bar and type in Pokemon. All right, so this is a Snow Brothers Capcom instruction booklet, and it's the booklet only, and it sold for $109.50 with 14 bids and the buyer paid shipping. 18 NES game instruction booklets sold for $213, games not included, 19 bids, plus shipping. And no, these are not all just games. Uh, this is a G.I. Joe Zartan box from 1984. It is the box and instructions only. So if you're at an estate sale and you see vintage things like this and you can get them for a great price, there's still money that can be made. Um, this box sold for $136.30 with eight bids and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one. The Beatles Paul McCartney original 1964 model kit box and instructions only. So somebody hung on to the model kit. You know, they probably built it. And then, uh, yeah. So, you know, all of these boxes are not going to be created equally. They're going to be hit and miss. I'm showing you some big money bolos. Some of them might only be bread and butter, but there is definitely money that can be made for this. So this is an Atari 2600 instruction manual. Just a manual, just an instruction manual. Super rare, sold for $82.01 with six bids. Pretty amazing. Uh, so this is a pocket watch box. And you can see the original price of the watch was $1.50. How cool is that? So only the box sold for $66.65 with 10 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, Lego boxes, definitely a good thing to be on the lookout for. Oh, maybe I disregard. I thought this said box and instructions only. Okay, that one doesn't count. Ignore it. But Lego boxes, you can sell them. Can't remember if I have another one in here or not. So uh, the 1966 Batman Batmobile, this is the instruction sheet only. It sold for $37.99, four bids plus shipping. And I'm guessing if the right people would have bought, been watching, maybe this could have gone for a little more because that is really cool. This is a Star Wars um, retired Lego assembly instruction manual. And it sold for $36 with four bids, plus $10 shipping, which I have no idea why the shipping was so much. Okay, so this is a vintage Major Matt Mason 
German, I, I don't know, it's a card back. Must be some like figure superhero. I don't know. So even ones that like aren't super recognizable, if somebody needs it, they will pay up. This sold for $75. It only had one bid, but that's all it needs is one bid for something like this. And the buyer paid the shipping. Kiss. I did a video on Kiss brand items. Kiss can be a major bolo. These are just the card backs. Um, and you can see here, this is what they look like. And the card backs alone sold for $49.99. Here's more card backs. So again, a card back is the packaging and it's missing the figure and like the little plastic that goes over the top. It's just the card back. And they can be punched and unpunched. These all appear to be punched. I think they're more valuable if they are unpunched. And uh, Dominic Crone, the prime time treasure hunter, did a video um, about card backs. So that's how I knew about punched and unpunched. It's the little part that it's like where it hangs. So that little piece, I think that makes a difference in value. And these weren't taken apart very good either. I mean, they're kind of beat up. And they sold for $34 um, and $7 shipping. And again, please go check out prime time treasure hunter. His reselling YouTube channel is amazing. The next item is this Lego Factory Market Street box only. Okay, so here is a Lego box. It is the box only. Sorry, I messed up on that other one. And it sold for $293 with 15 bids and $45 shipping. Wow. Here's another one, Lego Airport Shuttle uh, set. This is the box only. It sold for $69 with 14 bids. And the buyer paid the shipping. So this is a 1966 Shelby GT350 owner's manual. So again, it it's gonna depend on the vehicle. It's gonna depend on the year. It's gonna depend on how rare the item is. This one sold for $810. Are you going to get $810 for every car manual, owner's manual out there? No. But look them up. This one sold for $810 with 41 bids. Let's see what they started it at. They started it at one cent. Get out of town. I wonder if they had any idea that it was going to go for so much. Uh, 10 bidders. The winner had 985 feedback and there were 41 bids total. I'm going to go into, sometimes I like to do this. They have no other items listed right now. Let's look at their solds. Yeah. So they, so that's a, yeah, two things. Look at both items sold, but that's it in the last, what, 90 days. All right, so this is a 2014 Jeep Cher Cherokee owner's manual, and it's still new and has the plastic on it. Sold for $20 plus shipping. So again, it really depends on what the manual is for. This is for a newer vehicle, but a 20 bucks plus shipping. I mean, you can usually pick these up for a buck or two. I've seen them at garage sales. I've seen them at estate sales. Some people go to car um, junkyards and they look through the glove boxes. So $20, 24 bids, buyer paid shipping. Here's a Toyota Land Cruiser. This one sold for $157.50 with 21 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And these are a huge lot of vintage RCA instruction manuals, broadcast television, audio, and more. So this is just a mixed lot. Again, things that you can pick up at garage sales, estate sales, and yeah, pretty interesting. Sold for $136.50 and the buyer paid shipping. RCA Victor Television Service Clinic Manual. Sold for $56, eight bids, buyer paid shipping. How funny is that? $56, guys. All right, so this is a Nintendo Entertainment System, and it's just the box and the instructions and the foam, and it sold for $42 plus shipping. So when you're at a garage sale or an estate sale and you see just the box, 
If you can get it cheap, grab it. Because people find just the systems and they want the box. This is a G.I. Joe 1964 box only. So for $409.04 with 24 bids. This is a Hi-Yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. It's a 10 litho wind up, wind up toy. This one sold for $209.50 with 13 bids. All right, these are 15 Lens or Lesney. Lesney? I don't even know how to say it. They're matchbox boxes. And I believe they're the boxes only. Some boxes are complete. Sh some show wear and are missing flaps. No vehicles. $183.50 these sold for with 28 bids. Again, people have the cars. They want to make them complete. They want the box, so they will pay up for it. Here's another one. This is for a Corgi, I think is how you say it. It's a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh, car. It's the box only. It sold for $102.50. Six bids, $9 shipping. These are Lego manuals only. And they put the manual numbers up there. This sold for $41 plus shipping. Okay, so these are vintage ring boxes. So they have no rings. So there's a Tiffany, a Bakelite, a Denison, one's leather. So if you guys see these, definitely uh, pick them up if you can get them for the right price. These sold for $16 plus shipping. Here's another one. This is a Tiffany and Company that sold for $49.99. I mean, it's not great condition. Doesn't matter. $49.99. Plus shipping. I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. You can still make good money on it. You would definitely make more if it was in better condition. This is a Zippo Lighter Candy Stripe box only. Sold for $36. And the buyer paid shipping. So what do you guys think? Some people would ignore these items. They wouldn't pick them up. They'd consider them to be trash. And you can definitely make money on boxes, instructions, manuals. Um, what was the other thing? I don't know. Anyway, you guys saw the video. <laughs> I don't have to repeat it. Um, lots of bolos. Some are bread and butter. Some are big money. Sometimes you get lucky and have a bunch of people bid. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of auctions. I'll be honest with you guys, but I do search auctions solds because I like that it gives me more accurate information as far as bid history and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to go work on another Bolo video. Have a great night. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that thumb. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.